when he was a young man, St. Ignatius of Loyola had some great plans for himself. He was an aristocrat and knew he had a talent for weapons and an ability to inspire people. With these skills, he recognized he could achieve glory and success fighting in the many wars and conflicts that were happening at the time. And he was right. He pursued these plans and became known as a good duelist and an effective soldier and leader, raise, rising quickly in the ranks. In one battle, however, he was wounded by a cannonball and had a very long recovery. And during that time, he did a lot of reading, both of the stories of adventure that he had been used to and some religious tracts that were available to him at the hospital when he ran out the stuff he actually wanted to read. That experience changed everything for him. Suddenly he recognized that while he enjoyed reading both types of books that he had available to him, when he finished reading the tales of adventure, he would end up feeling empty and needing something more. While when he finished reading the books about Jesus or the saints, he would feel inspired and on fire. He wanted to be like that. Reflecting on that more deeply, he realized that God's plan for him were very different than the plans he had made for himself. And he ended up giving his military career, giving up on his military career, and focusing on a life of poverty, while he learned more about God through prayer and study, going on to get an education, and as many times having to really focus on simplicity, giving away all he had. He soon met others who were searching in the same way and were inspired by his example. And together they formed a new religious order that we call the Jesuits. It makes me think about how much we would have lost if St. Ignatius had not given up on his plans and instead just had gone back to pursuing his military career. Probably he would have gone on to become famous and wealthy in his own day, but he would have la left no lasting legacy. He would have been just one general among many generals of that time, and the world would not have been particularly changed. Thankfully, he was able to recognize the pearl of great price when he first discovered it in a hospital bed and was willing to sell all that he had in order to purchase it. And because of that, the world was changed for the better. Each one of us has a great calling from God some way in which we can live as saints and leave an incredible impact in the lives of those around us, possibly even changing the whole world for the better. To embrace it, however, we have to be able to listen to God's plan for our lives and not insist that our plans for our lives are much more important and that he should really listen to us. And that can be difficult. So let's ask for the humility, the wisdom, and the courage that we need to recognize the pearl of great price in our own lives. To recognize that God is calling us to something great and to want it with our whole heart and be willing to risk everything that's less important than the happiness prepared for us from the very beginning of time. If we're able to sell the things that are holding us back, to let go of the attachments that are trying to control our lives, 
and really stretch our hands to that great gift of God, that pearl of great price, to hold on to it, to make it the center of our lives, then the love that shines through it and will shine through us will make the whole world brighter because in becoming the very best version of ourselves, we will transform our own life for the better and those of all those around us by the way that we live God's love and make everything we do an act of grace.